Hello guys, Ben here, and welcome back to Evolution of a Village. Um, today's question is really just, uh, well, we talked about music yes yesterday, yeah, yesterday. So today's question is going to be, um, you know, what is your favorite album ever released? Like, and when I say album, I'm talking like, you know, well, I think everybody knows what an album is. Um, so this is a little farmhouse I've built, um, and it's really just a tiny little, oops, now let's grab those iron bars down there, nope, that's not what I wanted to grab, that's what I wanted to grab, we're not going to cover that up, but, and I haven't furnished this yet, um, I'm kind of going to just furnish these off camera unless I start streaming, then that type of tediousness, as well as building smaller houses, is going to be on stream. Um, just because I think that's a better plan. Also, I may keep the iron bars. But today, what we're going to be working on is up here. And I think it's time we actually worked on the more defensive part of the keep. Because, let's be honest here, that's primarily Palace. This is the part that we're actually going to need to uh, change into a defensive part. And this is the difficult part, because, you know, you'd have, you know, this type of Palisade, but you would definitely want to defend it. So, typically, a way we're going to do that, and this is a really tough part, because we also have to change this from being 4 wide to 3 wide. So, I'm actually going to tear this all down. And I'm just going to leave that because I know that is safe to uh, tear out. But we are going to have to leave that gap there because we're also going to try and put something that looks kind of like a drawbridge in. We're going to leave it um, closed, actually. Maybe. I'm not sure. We might, we might not. Just depends. Go. And we're just going to get rid of these and. This is the truly difficult part because now I'm having to get rid of, you know, a decent amount of work to actually get this set up so it actually looks good. But that's just part of, you know, how things would change because they would tear all of this down. I mean, they would have access, but it would be very difficult. Um, so you would only go there if needed, and it would probably be fairly easy to defend. Um, the other thing is, this is built in a very weird location, so I may just put like the gate house portion right here and then have the rest because what I'm kind of going to try and do with this part is build a little bit more of like a Norman keep style it's going to be very 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 simple and I'm going to have to get rid of all this wood and stuff um, and really what we're just going to do is lay this out um, today, um, and I'm going to do a good bit of off-camera work with this just because, you know, it's going to be fairly similar in style to uh, the actual keep. Now, I could have lit this on fire, but I just, nah, I think that would have been too easy and also it would have taken a little bit too much time. Um, We're gonna have to go time set day here. There we go. Get rid of that. 
But my favorite album, to give you guys some context as why I'm asking this, is um, Ride the Lightning by Metallica. I really honestly think that was it's possibly the greatest album ever recorded. And there's a reason why. For a metal album, it had a lot of acoustic work, acoustic guitar work, which you wouldn't normally think of when you think metal because, well, you know, metal. Um, I don't want to do this. This is very weird. Um, well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of everything. Because one of the other things I'm going to need with this keep is I'm going to need a way to actually get up into it. And this is this building is going to act like the actual gatehouse to the keep. Um, but it is probably, I guess you could say, an integral part of the castle. Because um, let's be honest, that bridge is a little... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we've got this big platform kind of want to put like a square tower here and we're going to put it in one so it's three oops four five six seven eight nine i want it to be at least nine here and the reason why i'm doing it like that is because and we're going to make this make it you know nine by nine because we're gonna have, you know, some divisions and stuff like that. Um, so that's what, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, good. Unfortunately, that means it's gonna be a little bit larger, but one, two, three, four, whoops. Five, six, seven, eight, eight. Oh. I guess we only have to really go insane with this here, actually here as well. Because decided to hang just ever so slightly off of the edge. Great job, game. Okay, and the, re the other reason why I like uh, Ride the Lightning is just because it really is a very, very good album. Um, best way I can use to describe it is, you know, subject matter is really, uh, just, it's incredible. Um, the, okay, that's, that's fine. But in addition to that, you know, it's just got some great tracks. Um, and actually, I think the weakest song on that record, um, and that's not to say it's a bad song, I just think it's the weakest song on the record. And, and I think it's real, it's a good song. Just compared to the rest of the record, it's like, um, okay. And that song is actually, um, it's, uh, Escape. That would be, okay, so you get up here. And, sorry, I'm taking a little bit of time. Okay, so, well, let's, let's do this. And this is going to be the, oops. Wow, I'm going wild with this thing. Okay, so this is going to be kind of the entrance, and we're going to take this down, and we're going to do that, and we're going to do that. And you know what? I'm probably going to make that all stairs. So we want it three wide. So 
So not only will you have to turn, but there will be some room for some murder rolls. And we're going to make it a one wide gate there, just like this is also going to be a one wide gate. And I'll I'll tidy up the path around here, um, just to make it you know a little bit better. And then up here there will be some sort of path. Um, but for right now, what I'm going to do is focus on, because we are going to put a stairwell in here, obviously. We have to. Um, but yeah, so the reason why I like Ride the Lightning is just because it's a really good album. You've got uh, Creeping Death on the, on the album. You've got, um, what is it, For Whom, wow, For Whom the Bell Tolls was on that one. Wow, I forgot about that. Um, you've got, you know, you've got, um, did I say Creeping Death already? Yeah. Uh, you've got Call of Cthulhu, which, by the way, that is one of the most haunting songs you will ever listen to if you do. Um, also, I want to make this a little bit taller because I don't want people to be able to open up the, uh, The what you calls it, the the trap doors on the murder holes. Um, so that's one of the things we're actually going to just design straight up. Is that um, I also need to determine how the hell we're going to get into this part. Um, this part is going to be kind of defensive, but also it's going to house a lot of the important features that are needed. Um, actually, we're going to put this here because what I'm going to do with this is we are going to, for right now, carry this up. Um, Now what we could do is have a little have this be a little bit of a section of wall. Like this. And then that actually winds up being pretty much perfect. Okay. And oh, there's another really good song on there. Oh yeah, Ride the Lightning, the title track, ha. Huh? But overall, its musicianship is really good. Um, it was really the first album where you could tell that uh, metal and classical music uh, share Um, share a lot of similarities, believe it or not. Um, both are very high in musicianship, believe it or not. And both also, well, I know for a fact that metal deals with, uh, stuff like, uh, deals with actual, you know, serious subject matters. Classical, I'm not so sure because oftentimes there aren't lyrics in classical. Um, but mainly it's the musicianship. Because people just, people like to assume that metal is nothing more than, you know, lots of distortion and all this nonsense, but in reality, you know, a lot of the old school stuff really requires the musician to be on point and know what he he's doing, or her. Which is 
very, very, very important. Okay, so we've got this laid out. Now this is going to be... There, there are going to be some barracks in this part too because they would definitely be needed. Um, one, of the, one of the things I'm going to do... is there's gonna be a little stair room, a little area for stairs in this. I'm actually tempted to make that stair part right in this this area. Probably, actually I think the stairs are gonna go like here. So, that'll work. Um, I will go ahead and do those murder holes now since we know the level we're gonna want this at. Also, now that I think about it, yeah, whatever, it's too wide. I don't think that's that big of a deal. What we're going to do is we're going to need to make it like that. You know what, now that I think about it, let's just go ahead and do that, and that, and that, because we're just going to make this one wide. Make it as hard to attack the castle as possible. But one of the other things I like to do... Um, when it comes to music is I like to say, okay, so I have, you know, I've got uh, three albums that I have to take with me on a desert island. I'm not. And those are the only three I'm allowed to listen to for the rest of my life. Right? How do I determine, you know, what do I listen to for the rest of my life? Like, seriously, how, how, do, you, how do you figure that out? Because it's pretty tough. Like, you have to balance all the tastes you have while also ensuring that you have variety. So, the only constant for me has been Ride the Lightning. It's the only constant album that I've ever kept. That's just like, yep, I have to have this one with me. Other albums, it, it depends. It really does for me. Because it, it changes so often. And like I said, I, I really try and make it so that I, uh, have the variety necessary to survive, really. Oh, I expected that. Um... There. That's just to... Sure, okay, so... We're gonna have to make it a pathway through here. Okay, that that's that's easy. That is easy. So I just have to make it this high. You know, I can even turn that into a murder hole of sorts. And I'm going to actually raise the outside up one over this. So this is a really tall portion, so... 
I'm probably going to put like a wooden roof on this part. Um, but I'm going to leave like the machicolations and the uh, crenellations as well. Um, but we'll probably be doing that. I'll probably be doing that stuff off camera for you guys just because I don't think it's necessary to show that. Nor do I. Nor do I want to spend a lot of time on camera doing that. But if I had to choose the other two albums, like at this very second, I'm probably choosing. I need to determine. So I've got five rows in here. I can put one, two. Yeah, I can put two in. Two very nice murder holes. I put those there. Now I could, if I really wanted to, make these stone as well, but I decided not to. And good luck getting up and stopping that. That would just be nasty, and I would not want to be caught dead in that area. Also, we're going to be bringing that down. I believe I can get through. Nope. But if I were to post it like that. Oh, that's kind of actually a little bit of a shame. I may just set that up to do that. Or, 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 or better, more realistic. We have a tiny little portcullis here. There we go. I guess at this very moment, the other two albums I'm going to choose are, um, um, uh, this is tough. Uh, let's go with uh, Layla and Other Love Song by Derek and the Dominoes. And uh. 
how about Leonard Skinner. Yeah, let's go with pronounced Leonard Skinner for a third album. Should give us a good enough variety. I think it'll be fine. Also, that's a lot of vines. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching so much. Have a nice day, and see you next time. Bye.